Hello everyone. So let me show you something uh, really cool today. Now of course I use org mode because you know that is what we all should be using. But I know there are some challenges when it comes to org mode, especially when it comes to tables. Now if you follow my videos, I'm sure you probably know that how I use org mode for doing quite a lot of things. And one such thing is making proposals. And uh, in my proposals, of course, I use a uh, uh, lot of things like I have tables and these tables are doing all the calculations, which of course I showed. For example, if you have a table and you want to calculate, let us say the sum of one column, for example, in a proposal, you have, uh, let us say your day rates along with the uh, different phases of the project. Each phase will have uh, an estimate and now based on the estimate, you want to calculate the total effort or the cost of the project. And uh, you can actually pick up data from multiple tables. And then of course you can do a calculation. Of course, it is not very straightforward and easy, but once you set it up, it works really well. And you are able to deliver proposals very quickly, which I do, of course, you know, if you are uh, one of my clients, I'm sure you know that uh, I'm very quick in making proposals. So, or if, he, if you are considering hiring me or my company, then uh, I will, I promise you will get the proposal very quickly from us because uh, we have smart ways of doing it. Now, today I thought I'll probably show you uh, this uh, use case where let us say you have to copy a table from uh, someone or somewhere, not someone, let us say HTML or maybe somewhere from a sheet, Excel, LibreOffice, whatever, you know, you're using or Google Sheets. But it is of course not really easy. For example, if I copy this table, right, of course you can copy it. Right. And if you go to your org mode, you can paste it. Now, this is great because at least you are pasting it and this might work. But of course, it is not a table. Sometimes you need a table because, you know, you want to do some calculations. Maybe you want to calculate the average age of your students. Uh, for example, Ravi, Ravi Sagar is 18 years old. Yeah, that is my real age. And uh, Harry is 19 and so on. So, of course, you know, uh, I'm not really going to do a sum here, but I'm, I'm, I'm saying that uh, you might need a proper table. Now it's very easy. I mean, it works um, for simple tables, not really for all the tables, but it works decently. Uh, what you need to do, copy the text here and uh, select the text and simply press Ctrl C and then pipe and it will basically create the table for you. This is wonderful, right? Because you are now able to create this wonderful table, a proper org table from this text which you copied. And uh, this works really well. And I thought I'll probably show you. I, I was not aware of this, to be honest, because I, I mean, good thing is that, you know, if you do Google search, you will find these things. And that is why I, what I encourage. I, I, of course, you know, wanted to show it to you so that you can feel good about it. And of course, you know, uh, I'm excited to make this video because I think it is really cool uh, way of working with tables because you need tables sometimes I know at the same time uh, there is also a table.el like mode which is not bad for example what you can do is you can do something like all text table no what is this I forgot the name of the uh, there is some there, there is something called table.el I think it is control x right Control X. Ah, no. No, Control C. I actually forgot how to do it. So, uh, anyways, so there is something called the call as table mode, which you can also try, which I tried, but it is, of course, a bit complicated. And uh, for me, for my needs, uh, I'm now out of. Uh, out of focus yeah i'm back to focus now so for my needs i think uh, this works this particular approach works fine and i thought i'll probably you know show it to you all right that is it that is all i wanted to talk about today i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new thank you very much bye bye